Hello and welcome to another tutorial. Um, today I'll be showing you guys how to take the movies that you own and play them onto your iPod. Uh, but instead of just taking your DVD and throwing it into your computer and stuff, I'll be you'll actually be downloading it. The reason for this is because programs that um, actually will take your DVD and put it onto your uh, computer in a different format. Um, they cost a lot, like 50 bucks. So this way, it's free to do it. Okay, so first you want to get BitTorrent. It's uh, just a normal uh, torrent file opener. If you know what I'm talking about, you could just use a different one, like uTorrent. But th I'm just going to be using BitTorrent in this. So if you're kind of a pro at this, you don't need my help. And then, so with a BitTorrent, uh, you want to get get BitTorrent. Click that big button. If you have Windows, or if you don't, just click on a different version. BitTorrent for Mac, Linux, or whatever you have, or if for some reason you want an older version, but that's kind of weird. So, this uh, now that you have your torrent opener, you're going to want to go to torrents.com. The torrents.com searches all the torrents uh, file search engines together and puts them into one. It's kind of nice, and um. There may be other websites that I might not search, but I just like using this one because it's efficient. So, you're going to want to type in the movie that you own. For this, I'll be using a movie called Halloween. So, oh yeah, a little by the way, you're going to want to be using, um, look for authors like FXG, FXM, AXO, or Klaxon. So yeah, Halloween. And then, so yeah, after you type in Halloween, well, whatever video you want, search, I pressed enter. Now click the one that has like FXG, AXO, Klaxon. AXO is spelled AXXO, in case you're wondering. And then, so with, once you find the one at the top, see all the other ones are probably crap. Not all of them are crap, but I just like using them because you might as well use the one that's, uh, that does work. So you see it has the AVI file. AVI files can only be read on a computer, so in a, I'll be showing you how to make it onto iPod in a different part, just so that way this doesn't take up that much time. So now click on one of the mirrors. I, the first two look retarded, so I'll just click on BitTorrent.am. Take a little bit to load. But, um, yeah. Loading, I click on it again. Oh, there we go. Alright. So now the window's actually popped up. Let's see how long it takes it to load. Uh, stupid Vista. It's retarded. Okay, so. Now you have this. It shows you, like, all the information about the torrent file itself. Stupid ad. Um, okay, so. Now you have it. You want to go download, download five times faster, it'll make you pay, so don't do it. This is, so now you just want to go to open. If you say save, it'll just make a retarded, really small file. Open will throw it into a temporary file. You want to allow it, if you have, if it asks this message, allow anything like BitTorrent or uTorrent or whatever file you have. And then, file, torrent file opener you have. Okay, so now you opened it. So now start up your file, ask you questions about what you want to download. Um, just download everything, just in case you might need it. The AVI file is the main thing, but um, <laughs> so now it'll go to your downloading section. I already have it, so it, that's why it's uncompleted. It'll take a little bit. It'll take overnight. It might take. It may take only three hours, depending on if it's a new movie, and if you like just got it like on the first day released or something. Then, so now once it'll be downloading for a little bit, just let it running. Don't stop it for any reason. Unless you lose your internet connection, then you can stop it. But um, now it's in your completed section. It'll do something called seeding. Ignore that. Seeding will not help you at all. Only help other people. Even if it says estimated time remaining. Since see it says 10 hours, you do not have to wait the 10 hours. Say stop. You're gonna want to uh, click on the stop button. So now, now you can actually do stuff with it because it's not involved with the program actually. So open containing folder, 
since I already moved it, this movie into a different folder, uh, I'll just open that folder. It has all my unconverted movies. But, yeah, so, click Open Containing Folder. It will... So, these are all my movies that I have so far. I actually do own these, so don't worry. And, um... So, yeah, Halloween... That's the movie that I'm showing you in this description. You got Halloween. Yeah. So, don't... No, you got Halloween, so... Uh, in a next the next part I'll show you to how to actually convert the movie so it can be read by your iPod put onto iTunes whatever I think if you have a different kind of mp3 player that can read the kind of files I'll be using then you might as well then you can just use that but it'll be mainly for iPods so visit the next um, section I may have my own website so be on the lookout for that thank you for watching